were spending the people's money for an archaeology firm and an engineering firm, and they've done this before, and they've, they've encountered these things before. So I expect them to follow the law and do this the way it's supposed to be done. That's, well, we that's what we want. Yeah. That's all we're asking. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, it seems to me there was a comment made about, you know, there's probably somebody buried all over under Sturgis, so what's the big point? You know, well, I made that comment, but it was, it was not meant that way. What I was saying was the county is going to be much more careful in how it handles these than a private road builder or a private developer would be. That's all we ask. We yeah. just want to make sure that we're in the loop and that the tribes are notified of any suspected sites. Yep. So, okay. Galen? Well, even then, um, even a private developer is careful about distributing sites like that. When I was building my new house five years ago, bringing power in, uh, through West River Electric, since they received federal money, they had to do an archaeological survey of the route uh, where the line was planned. And my first initial reaction was panic. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to build my house here. Land, and said, no, no, it's nothing like that. If we find something, we'll just have to go around it, or something like that. We're not going to disturb any burial sites uh, or anything that has historical significance. And, um, you know, actually, something like that could be uh, very interesting. It could be another actual reason to, to build that road if it has some historical significance. It's another attraction that I think would lend some um, attraction to that road. Uh, my name is Melanie Stoneman. I'm with First Voices. Um, I came on the same uh, immediate task and thought that uh, there was going to be some kind of discussion running around in panic and making all my connections go fast to let the people know so we can get people here and some kind of a representation here involved. Because I know that um, the tribes and the Lakota people in general that live on and off the reservation have a huge concern with um, burial, any kind of burial sites or sacred sites. Um, it would be nice that when the archaeologists have a report, their final report, that maybe uh, you could bring in some of the tribal members or some of the people that are concerned to have that reported uh, back to us. I know that they're not out there digging underneath the ground. I know that when uh, something is built, whether it's a house or not, anything can be predictable. You may find some remains, you may not but there's proper procedures that we would like to happen um, that, we, that we do, that we would expect everybody to respect the ways that we, we believe. And it's not just about the road that's being built there. Um, the surrounding a, a sacred site that we have, um, we would like to protect also. Road, roadways, more, more traffic, more uh, alcohol and drugs and tobacco, <coughs> things that uh, we stand stand against uh, along our sacred sites. So it's a more than a bigger picture than just a roadway, uh, roadway and um, a bur burial sites. So uh, communication is number one. If we could um, start building bridges with that kind of communication, um, I know that it's hard to do but I think that's something that uh, we need to establish in order for all of us to not misjudge or uh, say that you, like today we thought that you were secretly having a meeting. <laughs> and so, you know, things like that gets out. So thank you for uh, clarifying um, all of those and your next meetings. Uh, if we could leave our emails here with you, um, anything else that's gonna come up about that. We would sure appre appreciate that so we can get the appropriate people here to uh, t testify um, for or against, either way. We have a kind of a system. Uh, Jerry Durr here you can put your email on our list of everyone who gets our agenda. Now, that, that alone might not be enough, but what you're going to want to, if you get our agenda, usually anything we're talking about with respect to this road will be listed under Fort Meade Way. We'll try to always use that road name so you know that's the air the issue we're talking about. That's the name of this road. And let's let's really make an effort. Make sure we always use Fort Meade Way, Jerry, on that. Um, 
Anything else on this? I just can't have that. Sure. Okay, as soon as the commission, you know, at the last meeting they heard about that, and we don't have the final report back from the study. <clears throat> but, you know, as soon as we found out about it, we did contact the State Historical Society, and she did send a letter out of rapid to all tribal officials, and uh, I met with her that uh, following Friday and talked about the process in place and uh, what we would need to do. She talked about the tribal leaders coming in, and so, you know, that's a process that we're going to follow. And as soon as we get information back, it's going to go to her, and then she will send that out to all tribal officials. I think one thing I would mention also, you know, we've made a we've made a very strong attempt to have our minutes uh, expanded. If you have any questions, if you cannot be here for any reason, uh, those are posted on our website, and. Uh, you're, you know, you, you'll find a lot of information there. We've expanded those minutes considerably uh, over what was we had the last several years. So uh, I think that would be a benefit to you also. Anything else on this? The only thing I would do is encourage you to, you know, look at the uh, agenda and not the social media uh, sites to get your information. There's a lot of misinformation out there, especially concerning Fort Midway. I'll just finally say that we've been advised too that um, when we get the final report, we will probably want to not release the locations and descriptions and specifics to the public because we do not want, um, you know, just anybody disturbing these. So we're going to have to be a little less open than we would normally be, uh, kind of at the advice of, of our of our consultant here. We're aware, aware, that, state we're aware that it's specifically illegal to divulge those sites. However, it is not illegal for us to share that with the tribes. Mm -hmm. So we'll share it with you, but we will not share it with the public. Well, with the tribes. I think it has to be a, a tribal government. That has to be an official representation of the tribe. So I don't know if that's you or something else. That's who we'll be sharing them with. Okay, um, anything else on that? Thank you all for coming. Right, thanks. You can stay stay for more, but that's all we'll we'll have on Fort Midway today.